Hey guys, I have another back to school video to share with you and today is all about filling up these backpacks. They are definitely a lot more heavy on the first day than the rest of the school year. So we are going to get right into the school supplies for my three kids that are going to public school. So if you missed the last back to school haul that I shared with you guys, it was the clothing that they picked out. Um, if you did miss that video, my kids are ages 10. I have a son, Bryce, who is going into fifth grade, and then twin girls, Rose and Pearl, who are eight and they are going into third grade. So also before I share the supplies, I am doing a giveaway and each of my back to school videos, I originally said three, but there might be four. I'm not sure yet. I'm not completely uh, done with all of my filming for back to school. I know some of you guys have already started. Some of you guys aren't starting until September. My kids go back to school August 24th. So it is right around the corner, but we are almost completely prepared for it. So I wanted to announce the winner. I did comment back on her comment on the clothing haul. So Vicki Patrick, I had to relook up your name to make sure I said the right one because I have a couple different Vickies. Vicki Patrick, you won. Make sure you send me an email or message me on Instagram so I can get you your prize. All right, so there is going to be a giveaway in this video as well, but it'll be later on. I'll give you guys the information, how easy it is to enter, what you have to do, and all of that. So without further ado, let me go ahead and share with you guys school supplies. All of these items, I, except for two things were purchased from Target. I do not, when it comes to back to school, I don't shop sales. I don't go to multiple stores. I just want to do one and done as you know quick as possible because I have multiple child, children. If there was just one, maybe I would look around for deals. I guess it makes more sense to look around for deals with three kids because I'm buying that much more, but I just, it's a hassle, okay? So I took each child separately, except for my son Bryce, he wanted his dad my husband Mark to take him shopping for his school supplies. So the boys went and got school supplies at Target and then I took the girls one on one. So we got that quality time and they kind of just perused the store and picked out their own school supplies. So let me show you guys the stuff that I got to keep at the house. I actually am going to be picking up a few more things but I didn't have a list for the house, like the homework station going to the store, so I didn't get everything. But what I did get was the big box of crayons, 96 crayons, and it does have the sharpener. So we will have this for their homework station. I also got a pack of the erasable colored pencils. It just makes it a little easier. And I tried to get the biggest packs that I could find since again, three kids and hopefully lasting the whole school year. We'll see, but this is the 24 count. Then I got the 20 count of the markers and these are the, yeah, the broad line markers. And I also got the 20 count of the super tips, which are the fine line markers. I already have plenty of pencils here. I think last year I picked up a huge box of the Ticonderoga. I have a box of like unsharpened and then I have a box of sharpened. Half of them are gone, but I still have half. So that's here, but I wanna pick up some different types of papers, art projects that they have to do, things like that, construction paper, and just, you know, the homework items that we like to have on hand. So I do still have a few more things. Then I got, these in little mask packs that where did I find them from five below maybe so the kids already have their masks from last year and speaking masks and all of that I have not gotten an update as far as like the end of summer the email that went out no masks for you know the following school year however cases are rising there's the new delta variant out so we're not quite sure if the kids are going to be required to wear masks to school this year but i did go ahead and save some hand sanitizer to put on their backpacks just in case it's always nice to have whether there's something going around or not you know it's always good to just be extra careful wash your hands no matter what all of that good stuff so as far as masks i don't know let me know down below if you guys already know if you're back to school if your kids have to wear masks I don't think it's the end of the world. My kids will get over it, but they were excited to not have to wear them this school year. 
but who knows if they have to they have to so long story I <laughs> got hand sanitizer for each of their backpacks and then this big box I got on Amazon Prime Day for like five bucks it was super cheap there's 30 in here and the girls Rose and Pearl I think they need 12 total glue sticks for the entire year six they're supposed to take right away and then they just have six more on hand so i do have the 30 pack so 24 will be like set aside for school just to make sure and then the other six we will keep in our little homework station that i'm putting together in the office for like i said when they bring things home that they need to glue whether it's some kind of like science project history project or just you know glue something together for homework who knows actually last year homework was all online it might be like that this year too who knows but i do want to be prepared and my kids like arts and crafts anyway so it's always nice to have extra glue on hand all right and then before i get into each individual child on the grade school list there was optional that the teachers would like to have but it wasn't you know like a mandatory school item that the kids needed at their desk so i did opt to pick up everything that the teachers would like to have in class as well so for fifth grade it was three things that the teachers wanted they wanted the big sheets of the construction paper is this 11 no 18 by 12. So the 18 by 12 pack of construction paper. So I did pick this in this up for Bryce to take and give it to his teacher. They also fifth grade requested post-its. So I got this huge pack of post-its, post-it notes. So again, this isn't for the kids. So Bryce won't have these post-it notes. It's for the teachers. They requested it. And then they wanted the primary colors of the cardstock paper in the regular size. So I got a pack of that. And then as far as third grade, they just asked for two things. So they wanted a pack of the cardstock in the primary color. So I did get two since I have two girls going into third grade. So each of them will take one in and give it to their teacher. I don't know if like the third grade has like a common room where they just keep all this stuff or each teacher just likes to have extra on hand. And then the same, the big size of the construction paper. So again, having two in third grade, I did pick up two so they can take that in. All right, so that's all the extras. Now I'm gonna go, I'm going to get into each individual child. With the clothing haul, we started with the oldest, my son, and ended with the youngest, my daughter, Pearl. So this video, I'm going to start with Pearl and then I'll move up to Bryce. So one thing she actually did not pick up, I went to Target when I got the extra stuff for like the homework station, I went ahead and picked up extra lunch boxes. We do still have the lunch boxes that we used last year. They're still in really good condition, but I did want to go ahead. There were a couple days where the kids forgot their lunchbox at school. So not the end of the world. They could just have a tray the next day, bring their lunchbox home. But I was like, you know what? That happened more than a handful of times last year. I went ahead and got a, an extra set of lunch boxes for this year, so we have plenty on hand. So the one that I picked up for Pearl, because she really loves this color, is, and Rose loves this color too, so Rose and Pearl can, you know, mix and match and switch out lunch boxes. It's no big deal. But I did just get this nice green lunch box, and I'm not, Fulton Bag Company is the brand. And I don't think, actually, I do think it comes with something like a divider. It says hardliner with divider. Okay, so it does have a little thing in here, no lid or anything. So it's not like you could put pasta salad or a sandwich in here and it would be protected. You'd still want to put it in another bin or a baggie, whatever. But you could take this out if you wanted it more soft to fit more things in it. So I did like that. And there is a spot on the side for water bottle, juice box, whatever. So that's the one thing I picked out on a different trip to Target though that I thought of last minute. Now we'll start with her backpack. So the girls actually surprised me this year. The clear backpacks are really for high school students. I believe all the high schools around us, it is mandatory that your backpack has to be clear just so, you know, it's just an extra safety precaution, making sure kids aren't bringing in things they're not supposed to, yada, yada, yada. So um, I told that to the girls when they saw the clear backpacks. I said, oh, that's for, you know, the high school kids. And they were like, well, can we have them? And I said, if that's the backpack you want, 
you go for it. You want it. So they both actually, you'll see roses picked out the clear backpacks just in different colors. So Pearl picked out the purple one. It's actually really neat and it feels pretty heavy duty. So I hope it lasts. They do still have their backpacks from last year. They're just a little worse for wear. There's, you know, no holes in them, but these are like ripped. They've colored on them, all that good stuff. But if something happens to this, we do have backups. But this one has two pockets on the side, which is nice. Their backpacks last year just had the one. And then it also has a front pocket and a little pocket on the inside here. I will open it up. And what brand is this? Embark Clear Backpack BPA and Lead Free. So it does have this as well. So if the girls wanted to keep their hand sanitizer like in this little pocket, they could instead of attached to the top or whatever they have, you know, a couple different options. But I did think that was interesting that the girls went for the clear backpacks. I didn't see that coming at all. I thought they were going to go a different route. Okay, so for third grade, since I do have twins, I'm going to show you Pearl's entire stash, but I'll let you know if, you know, Rose has the same thing. I'll, when I get to Rose, I'm just gonna show the different stuff that she picked up, like the composition books. She picked out different ones, then Pearl. She picked out a different binder color, all of that, just to make it go a little quicker. So everybody going into third grade needs a box of Ziploc quart storage bags. So I got the extra value box, which has 56 in there. They all need to bring in some baby wipes. I believe this is for art class. It has like little, um, a little dash and it says what class it's for because not all of it is for like their main subjects. They, everything for their special classes as well. So a pack of baby wipes. Everyone needs to take in a bottle of hand sanitizer. So this is the Target brand Up and Up and it's 32 ounces. They all need to take in a pack of paper towels. So they picked out Rose and Pearl. I think they both picked out the same one. Is this, it's Smartly. I don't know if that's like a Target brand or not, but it was one of the few that were just pre-wrapped in the single size instead of me getting a bigger pack and then not being individually wrapped. I thought this would work better. Then they each need to bring in a container of Clorox wipes. I was hoping I could find the bigger ones, but they were completely out when I went to the store. So I did just end up finding the smaller package and the, there's 35 wipes in there. They both need a 24 count of e Actually, I don't think it said erasable. It was just colored pencils, but I went ahead and got the erasable. They really love these ones. Then they need a box of crayons. So we got the 24 count and it did specifically say Crayola, but we are pretty brand loyal to Crayola. We've tried different brands and Crayola definitely works the best in our opinion. And they needed a 10 pack of, a 10 count pack of washable markers a pack of Expo dry erase markers for the teachers. And they did say that they wanted the fine tip ones. They have, you know, like the broad tip, the big thick ones or the thin ones. It specifically said to get the thin ones. They needed a pack of highlighters and it did specifically say yellow. So we got the, I think this is a Sharpie brand. Yeah, Sharpie brand. It says plus one bonus. So it's a three pack and then there's a bonus one in there. And then it did specifically say 24 of the Ticonderoga pre-sharpened pencils. However, there was no 24 pack. There was no 12 pack. There was, there was like a weird, like a 10, like just an odd number one that you don't normally see. And then there was the 31. So I was like, hey, more pencils, you know, better. So we did go ahead and get the 30 pack. And then they needed two red pens. We just went ahead and picked up the three count because I like to have red pens here as well when I'm working on different things. So I will go ahead and open this up and they can take two in and I will keep one here. But this is the Pilot brand and it does say the two plus one bonus pen pack. Okay, so the folders that they needed were very specific in colors. They needed one black, one red, and one blue. So they didn't really have a choice on these. And they did say they wanted them these, like the plastic ones, the lightweight flexible plastic with the, let me open one, the pockets on the middle. And I'm looking at this blue and red one and Pearl picked up 
I let them, like I told them what they needed and she picked these up, but these are the wrong ones. So I'll just keep these here or donate them. I guess I could take them back. It's no big deal, but she's supposed to have gotten this one with the, and that's my fault. I didn't double check. She just grabbed them and put them in the cart, but she needs the brads as well. So the brads and the pockets. So we'll have to get a different red and blue one, or they could have just been in the wrong spot because Rose got hers from the same spot the the same day i just i grabbed one took them came home grabbed the other one took them so we could have our one-on-one -on -one time and rose got the right one so those ones are probably just in the wrong um container at the store and anyway but they need to have the brads and the pocket so that's what they're supposed to look like and then they needed a pack of paper and how many sheets a hundred yeah it specifically said a hundred sheets of loose leaf wide rolled wide ruled um filler paper all right so everything else on their school supply list they were able to kind of be a little bit more creative and pick certain whether it be color or style of items so first up they needed a one and a half inch binder now pickings were pretty slim but pearl ended up getting a green one then i had them pick up a water bottle and pearl went for the blue green like this teal color one and this is the take ya bring the heat keep your cool so if she wanted she could have something warm in here like over christmas break if we wanted to use this for hot chocolate or something we could but it's just going to be for water and we always put a little ice in there too in the morning for the school day but it'll just be water for her to take to school all right they needed some headphones or earbuds last year they picked up earbuds and they didn't last long at all they constantly complained about the way that they fit so this year i said hey let's get headphones I know earbuds are, you think that they're cooler, but we're gonna get headphones this year. So Pearl picked out the white Sony ones and actually Rose ended up picking the white ones as well. So they each picked up the same one, but they were a couple different colors that they could have picked. And then for their binder pouch or pencil pouch, um, pickings were slim on this one because it specifically had to be the five star two zipper one and there weren't a whole lot of colors available so pearl ended up picking out this black one with is that like a green yeah it's like a lime green color on the zipper area there and then for scissors <laughs> there were a couple different color options but both girls actually ended up yes picking up the same pink ones all right let me just double check okay so last for third grade for what pearl picked out she needed four composition books this was a little hard too because they all had to be wide ruled so these are the four that she picked out she loved this design they had a ton but i about like 80 percent of the really fun designs were all college ruled so it was a little hard for her to go through all of them but these were the four that she ended up picking out. This one says, there is no planet B, meaning take care of this one. And then I love this one, like the water. It looks like you're underwater there. So those are the four that she picked up. So that's everything that Pearl is taking to school on her first day. You know what, psych, hold on. Just kidding. They had to take in two boxes of Kleenex or tissue paper. So these are the two boxes that Pearl picked out. I think they're so cute. Pretty sure that's it. All right, so for Rose's backpack, like I said, they both picked out the clear one. Rose went with this like muted green, more like a sage green, I guess. It looks a little different on camera than right here in front of me, but it's it's like a lighter sagey color, but that is the one that she picked out. Then as far as Kleenex or facial tissue, I say tissue paper, facial tissue. She picked out these two. I already said she got the same white headphones. For her water bottle, she picked this one out. She loved the like marble effect on there. And this one is thermos. Same thing though, a fun tainer keeps it hot or cold, but it is going to be for water. The lunchbox that I picked out, I originally picked this out for Pearl because she's been huge into pink lately, but they're kind of flip-flopping. Rose is liking the pinks and the yellows and the oranges together, like the tie-dye effect, 
and Rose is getting into more blues and greens. It's so fun to see them change each year and see what they're into. I love it. All right, so this is the same thing. It's the Fulton Bag Company Insulated Lunch, and it has the hard liner in there with the divider. It's got the pocket right here if they wanted to put their water bottle there or a juice box or like, you know, something extra for lunch if they wanted. So saying that, you know, she's going for the pink, she actually went with this one. And it is the five star and this one has three zippers but hey it said it, it ha at least had to have two did hers have three or just two no hers just has two so this is the one that Rose picked again it's the pink but then it has like this marbly detail on the side there her one and a half inch binder she picked yellow for the color and then for her composition books she did pick the same one as pearl with this water effect going on, but the other three are different. So she picked up this like holographic one. Then she liked the unicorn and the rainbow. And what does that say? Love more, worry less. All right, see that was much quicker doing it that way than showing you guys everything that was the same also. So that is everything that my twin girls are taking into their first day of third grade. Now, before we get into what my son Bryce picked out for fifth grade, I will talk giveaway for just a second. So for the back to school videos, there's going to be a minimum of three, possibly a bonus four. I'm not sure yet though. So you'll just have to keep a lookout. Make sure you're subscribed. Give this video a big thumbs up if you guys love back to school season. And all you have to do to enter is leave me a comment on what was your favorite subject in school, whether it was, you know, elementary, middle, high school, college, whatever you want. Just what was your favorite subject and what was your least favorite subject? My favorite subject was English. I loved my English teacher and actually once I got to, I loved English all grades, but once I got to high school, it was a hard tie between English and German. I took four years of German language and I absolutely loved my teacher, Frau Grimmer. She was fantastic. So it's a hard tie between English and German. But my least favorite was probably, I was going to say science. I just really... Once we got into like the dissecting things, I wasn't about that, but I really disliked math. I got through it, I did fine, but it was just not my favorite. I hated doing math homework. I still hate crunching numbers to this day. That's why I married a, an accountant, <laughs> a guy who loves math. Mark, my husband, absolutely loves math. That's what he did for a long time before he got bumped up right now in his current job. He's no longer an accountant, but that's what he did for a long time. He went to school for that and just loves crunching numbers. So I'm glad, you know, we, we've got that opposite thing going on. So just leave me down below what's your favorite and your least favorite. And that's going to get you into entering the giveaway for a hundred dollars, however you would like it. I have PayPal, Venmo, or I can send you an Amazon e gift card. And then I will come back and comment on the comment that won in a week. And then at the end of all the videos, I'll do like a big announcement on my community tab. So make sure you have that bell pressed and all notifications. So you get when I update you guys on certain things on the community tab, because if you don't have that bell pressed and then the all clicked for all notifications, sometimes YouTube doesn't put that in front of you on your feed and you won't see when I post the winners there, but I will come back in a week and comment on that comment. So hopefully you guys are paying attention to that. All right. So that's the quick little uh, giveaway spiel. <laughs> now let me go ahead and show you guys what Bryce picked out. So his backpack of choice, I'm actually surprised on him too, because normally he picks some kind of licensed backpack, like Fortnite was last year. There's a couple different things that he likes, you know, he loves Minecraft and stuff like that, but no, he went with the watercolor. I love this backpack. Actually, one of my favorite colors is blue. So this definitely definitely speaks to me and this is a trans by Jansport backpack so this should be good to last all year. I feel like they make a really nice good sturdy backpack and this one I think I just saw has a laptop sleeve so a little extra divider in here for him. So it's got the front pocket, another front pocket, it's got one side and then it has two right here. So a lot of different things going on 
for him to organize himself. And then, like I mentioned, I took the kids, Mark, I took the girls, Mark took Bryce. And then afterwards, I went back to pick up a few things that I wanted to get. And seeing that he picked that backpack out, I got him this lunchbox to match. But like I said, I really do love the blue watercolor um, one that he picked. So I'm glad they had a matching lunchbox. And then he only needed one box of a Kleenex. And he went again with like the blue. It has some purples in there though. Little watercolor effect. He was definitely loving this print shopping at Target. For his hand sanitizer, they found one with aloe. Does it have, yeah, hand sanitizer with aloe. They found that one at Target. A container of Clorox wipes. For his pencil pouch, I believe he ended up picking the same one. Yep, the same one as Pearl. So it's got like the lime green and the black. He picked the black headphones by Sony. All right, he got the right folders too with the brads and the pockets. So his colors that he had to do, he didn't get to pick these, was green, red, yellow, and blue. He needed a pack of highlighters as well. He went for the blue scissors. So he actually needed both of the dry erase markers. He, want, he needed the fine tip and the broad ones. Actually, I say broad, this says chisel tip, but you guys know what I mean, the thick ones and then the little skinny ones. And then I cannot remember how many pencils it said that he needed on the school supply list, but what they came home with is a pack of 30 and then a pack of 18. And it did say that they all had to be the Ticonderoga and they needed to be pre-sharpened. As far as glue sticks, so the girls just needed the little thin ones by Elmer's. It did say brand specific. Bryce needed the big ones. So it said the giant or jumbo on there. So he needed 12. These are two six packs and he got the disappearing purple school glue sticks. No markers or crayons in fifth grade. He's growing up, you guys. He's gonna graduate this year and go to middle school. I'm gonna be teary-eyed at the end of the school year, I know it, but the only like coloring thing that he needed on his school supply list was the small pack too, the 12 count of the colored pencils. He needed a set of index cards. And then he needed the 200 count of the refillable or filler uh, loose leaf paper. All right, and then in not four composition books, he needed two composition books. And one of those, I love that. Look at that, see I told you, the blue watercolor. He definitely picked that up when he could. So we got the blue watercolor and then this gold one. It's a whole bunch of triangles like in each other. And actually not quite triangles, but that's what it sort of looks like there. And then he needed some multiple subject notebooks. One of them, he needed a three subject notebook. So he got the black cover one. And then same, he went for the black. He needed a five subject notebook. All right, you guys, those are the school supplies that my kids need for back to school. So I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. The, the dogs are getting a little restless. If you guys can hear them like shaking around in the background, they're like, okay, we've been sitting here for long enough. Let's get out. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave your comment down below if you want to enter into that giveaway. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.